Bill, you know, you were brought in here to kind of uh, help establish a defensive identity. How important is this kind of win today to show when, you know, you're not shooting well, you're missing free throws, but defensively you can force your way back into the game and, and get a signature win? Um, it's big. You know, I didn't play a lot of college games. I didn't see a lot of, you know, different things, um, different endings. You know, I didn't, I didn't want it a bunch of different ways. I think it was big for our young guys to see that, you know, if we just stay persistent, you know, keep guarding and get stops when we're supposed to, we got a chance to win. Um, I don't really think anything went our way today. Um, we missed a lot of free throws. We missed a lot of shots that we usually make or that, that we work on a lot. Um, but our theme of the week was just audacity. Um, and I just, I just like how we had the audacity to, you know, to stay confident and find a way to get that win today. I think, I mean, Illinois was really, really hot early in the second half, got it up to 12. Just what were y'all saying at that point? What was the mood of the team? Because after that, after that 12 point run, they got it to 12, you answered right back and you were a big part of that. Yeah. Um, well, when we got in a huddle, I just told them they, they the number 10 team in, in the country for a reason. Um, I knew coming out in the second half, they was going to make a run. Um, it was just about how we responded to it. Um, and I think we responded pretty well. Some of the, some of that run was part of my fault. You know, I let Frazier go a couple times, let him um, get some get some shots that I shouldn't allow. Um, but I just like how we fought. You know, we got in a bonus. Um, we got to the free throw line, um, and we just responded. We always talk about response as a team, and I just like how we found a way to to get this win um, and just responded the appropriate way. We stuck together, so it was great. Kerr was really active back there and, you know, blocking shots, getting steals. When, when, when he's playing like that, how does that energize the defense? I love it. You know, being a, being a defensive team and, you know, having a guy like Kerr on the back end, cleaning up everything is phenomenal. He played terrific in the second half. I think he had four or five blocks alone just in the second half. Um, so it was great to see him, you know, get, he's getting back to himself. So I, I loved it. You know, he, he, he stepped up, made some big free throws. Um, being a veteran guy, you know, he just got to keep playing with confidence. Um, and, and it's going to come. So it was great seeing him play play that way today. Daryl on the back here. Um, the guy to your right, um, it's his first big win as a head coach of Marquette, but it's also your first big win at Marquette. What does it mean to you to do this together? Uh, it, it means a lot. You know, I got here this summer with this group of guys, um, and they all just took me in um, and, and embraced who I was as a person um, and just respected me. Um, so just playing with these guys, you know, living with them, you know, practicing, competing every day, it's, it's great to get a win like this because we know how hard we were. We, we know that we're capable of it. Um, so for it to finally show, it, it's good. And I think this should be like confidence building for us um, and our young guys, because like I said, not too much went our way. We couldn't make free throws. We was missing open shots. But like I said, the theme, theme of this game was audacity. I just like how we had the audacity to keep fighting and win this game. Daryl, you and uh, Trent Fraser have had your battles over the years when you were in Maryland. Didn't, and he went scoreless down the last 10 minutes of the game. Did that familiar, familiarity with him kind of help you shut him down in those last 10 minutes? Um. I mean, I feel like he got going. I lost him a couple times early in the second half um, when they made their run. Um, I was trying to, you know, cheat plays and, and beat them in the spots. I think, you know, as a team, we kind of just locked in and, and, and played man-to-man -man defense and, and, was, and was gritty. You know, I just tried to keep him in front, make it as tough as I could for him. Um, he's a good player, though. Um, but it was, it was great, you know, to get the win. I, I'm, I'm all about winning. So I knew we needed stops. We was losing. You can't win. Um, if you're down and you don't get no stops. So I was just focused on getting stops and making it as tough as I could for him. And luckily, you know, things went our way and we found a way to get a victory. Uh, Daryl, at the end there, you guys were up one and the last couple of seconds, that was probably the biggest defensive possession that you guys had all game. What was the feeling and mindset going into that final possession and the feeling when you were, when you guys were able to punch it out and just secure the win with the steal? Um, so when Tyler got fouled, we kind of huddled up at the free throw line and we just talked about one stop. I looked at all the guys, and I'm like, bro, we worked too hard to fight back to give it up on one possession. Um, we talked about getting one stop and finishing it with a rebound. But, you know, Stevie is, is, a, is a hell of a one-ball defender. Um, 
and he's I'm really proud of him, you know. He stepped up to the line late. He missed two free throws. I just told him, forget about it. You know, make a play. He That's what he did. He, he guarded the hell out of the ball on that possession. He got a steal, and he got us to win. So that's that was one, that was all we really talked about. That's it for Darryl. Thanks. Thanks, Darryl. Some rest, did he? Yep.